is finally November, and that means we are finally back in Kansas. We're in a perfect pinch point where the river bottom gets within, I don't know, probably 30 yards of this CRP field. And there are acres and acres, thousands of acres uh, to the east of us with no roads, no homes, nothing. It's just a sanctuary. So this spot is a spot I have waited years to get into. We haven't even had stealth camps in here. It's a big buck paradise, but we don't know exactly what's running around, so this is all new to me. But we've got seven or eight days. It's November, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. and made the move. We're about 100 yards north of where we were this morning. It's pretty crazy to make that move after we've seen 12, 13 different bucks from that other stand, but it seemed like every one of them was walking through this pinch point here. We've got the CRP in the ridge to the west, and then we have this drainage ditch that's about 35, 40 yards away to the east. And every deer that we saw walking north and south was getting pinched right here. So we would have had that tall brow buck in the back of the truck if we had been sitting in this tree last night. So it was a calculated risk. We decided to give it a shot. It's November, you gotta make it happen. So here we are. I like it. We'll see what happens tonight. I smoked him. I greased him. That's the biggest buck we've seen in nine days. That happened so fast. Right here. Yeah, right here. This buck is exactly what hunting is all about, for me anyway. We have hunted day and night for nine days in a row. The first couple days we knew we had to make a stand switch. We moved to stand 80, 100 yards further down this draw. We've passed up a lot of good deer, and this is why you do it. That buck was earned right there. <laughs> 